Welcome to my channel. I am so happy that you are here today. If you are here right now, it is because you are just as determined to find these boys as I am. Orson and Orrin West have been missing for far too long. Also known as Classic and Sincere. Now, I have been steady trying to make videos as quickly as I can. Um, I've been doing spirit box sessions as I feel that I need to do them. I don't, I, it's hard for me to explain unless you've actually felt that feeling. Like, you know, when you get the urge to do something and it's like so strong that you can't fight it. That's when I do my spirit box sessions. Every single time that I get that feeling, it's like the spirits want to talk to me. They want to tell me something and I wish that they would be able to just tell me exactly where to find the boys and I don't understand why. That's one answer that I have never been able to figure out myself is why the spirits can't just say a location where the boys are. Um, so I'm going to keep asking questions that will hopefully get answers to narrow it down to exactly where the boys are. I have a whole list of questions, a whole list. I definitely think that there is something at Lake Ming. I don't know if, I don't know where it is. I don't know where exactly to look yet. You know, we've done the pendulum sessions, we've done spirit box sessions, and the answers that we've gotten have said that they are by water, that it is a lake, it's not a river, it's not a creek, it's not a pond, it is a lake. Um, it said that the boys are in a grassy area, and um, they are not close to a road, though. So, you can definitely go back and watch the pendulum sessions and the other spirit box sessions that I've done because I've gotten a lot. The, the one that stands out to me the most that I cannot get out of my head is the last spirit box session that I did for the boys. And it said, it popped up on the screen, feeling spiders. I lost it. That, that hurt my heart when I saw that. Um, and then the very next word was buried. Okay. When I saw that, I don't think that the boys are buried inside, like buried like what you picture when you hear buried. I don't think that they're buried in that sense. I think that they are in a grassy area and maybe the grass has grown over them or, you know, the brush has grown over them. So they're buried under that or they're buried under something else, you know, like, like just na nature taking over. Um, or maybe something was put over the top of them, but I don't think that they're actually buried in the ground. Um, but that still, if you saw that video, oh my goodness, that tore me up. Um, if you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. I, I literally could not control my emotions. So I'm using everything that I have found out in the past to try to get the answers that we need today. So I've, I've listened to my spirit box sessions again. I've watched my pendulum session again. I've reviewed all the answers that I got, all the words that I got. I do have one spirit box session that I did with the Necrophonic app that I have not finished yet. Um, it's about 20 something minutes long. So there is a lot of words that I still need to go through. And um, to edit a video like that, it takes so long. So I apologize, I have not gotten that one out yet. I haven't even finished listening to the entire thing yet. I've only listened to the first half of it. So that video should be coming soon. Today I just want to ask, I wanna be able to ask all the questions that I've accumulated after reviewing all of the previous answers that I've gotten. I don't feel like the boys are in Cal City. I really don't. I don't think, I think the boys were gone before the West family decided to move to um, Cal City. So I feel like they're in Bakersfield or around Bakersfield somewhere. On that same session that we got feeling spiders and buried, we also set, we also got school and empty. Those two words have stood out to me also. And I know that there, is, and we got the name Paula. Okay, well somebody in comments told me that there is a street that is over in that neighborhood and the um, school is over by Paula Street. And it's a newer school. 
So I don't know if maybe the boys are, see I'm getting two different areas off of the clues that I've gotten, off of the answers that I've gotten. So I either think that they're close to that school or they're by the lake. And I feel more strongly that they're by the lake. But the school, you know, it's in the back of my mind. What we're going to be doing today is asking as many questions as we possibly can. I'm going to use both of my Spirit Box apps today. So I'm going to start out with the ghost hunting tool, which is in the center of the screen. Okay, this is the ghost hunting tool app. Everybody's been asking which one I use. This is the one. Um, and then I'm going to use my Necrophonic app, which is this one right here. Okay, so these two are the ones that I use, use the most. Now, I did just download these two, the Ghost Tube. The SLS is the Xbox camera where it maps out figures. And this one I haven't used yet. So, both of these are brand new. I have not tried... I've used the SLS once, and I didn't catch anything with it. Um, and this one, this one I've used a couple times, it's okay. And both of these, I honestly don't even remember the last time I used them, so I can't even tell you about them. Same with this one. So it's basically, I just use the ghost hunting tool, the necrophonic, those two are my favorite. Those two are the ones that I go to, you know, anytime. Um, if I'm doing a video like this, I usually use this one because the word pops right up on the screen. If I'm not, then I'll use this one or if I want more because I think the Necrophonic app gives us a whole lot more information than the Ghost Hunting Tool app does. Um, I just feel like it's more detailed and the spirits can speak more freely through it. Just like if I were doing a session for myself, I would, I would use my SB7. That's the one that has the static and the, it's the radio and it scans through the radio stations. So you'll hear a bunch of static. It's the one that goes <laughs> and it's really hard for you guys to hear the words that come through, through a video. So I, I hardly ever use my SB7 when I'm doing a video. I use that sometimes on a live stream, but for the most part, Necrophonic is my go-to. So, we're going to go ahead and get started here. I also have a list of questions that people have left in comments. So, if you have left a comment that you want me to ask, thank you. And I will be asking your questions today. I'm going to try to get through all of the questions that you guys wanted me to ask. Let's go ahead and pull it up and we'll get started. Okay, spirits, I need your help with finding answers out about Orin and Orson West, also known as Sincere and Classic. Can you give me an answer here to confirm that we are going to discuss the boys? And I've already said my prayer, but I do want to remind you, spirits, that nothing demonic or evil is allowed to come through my device. I am protected by Jesus Christ. Screeching. Okay, so that's your answer to my question about confirmation that we are going to be discussing Orin and Orson, also known as Sincere and Classic. What can you tell me about the location where the boys are located physically today? Key. 
What about a key? Like a physical key that you need to unlock something? Because you've already told me that the boys are not in any type of container or building. So is it like the shape of a key? Is it the key as in clue? Wire. So there's wire involved in their location. If somebody sees wire, like a wire fence, Or some kind of wire, will that help them locate the boys if they follow that wire? Yes. Okay, I wanted to let you guys know, um, everybody who's watching this right now, when I see the, the bars up at the top of the screen jump, but there's no word that pops up, then I feel like that is telling me yes. When it flatlines and there's nothing like it is right now, that means no. So if I ask a yes, yes or no question, I watch those bars. And if the answer is yes, the bars go up. If the answer is no, they stay flat like they are right now. So I asked if somebody saw the wire like a wire fence or some type of wire if that would lead them to the boy's location and the lines jumped up higher and then they went back down. So I feel that the answer to that question would be yes. The same with key. When I said something about it being a clue, the, the bars jumped and then we got the word wire. So spirits, what else can you tell us? We need to know where the boys are physically located right now today. Where are their physical bodies right now today? Okay, last time I spoke with you guys, you said the word wood. Is when you said wood, were you referring to the wood cross that Doug just saw a couple days ago out by Lake Ming? Are the boys close to that cross? can't remember you don't remember saying wood or you don't remember if the boys are close to the cross because you said wood and you said nails But I don't know what kind of nails you were referring to. I didn't know if you were referring to fingernails. No? Are you referring to nails that you used to build with? Yes. Okay. Are the boys in a well? Are they in a water well? Don't blink. Okay, don't blink. Why? No. 
Megan. I don't know any Megan associated with Orin and Orson. If anybody knows of a Megan, let me know, please, in the comments. Chain. Okay. Is the chain close to the wire? Is the chain hooked to the wire? Okay. Breath. Did they use the chain or the wire in taking the boys' lives? Under chair. You said something about chair last time also. And you said under. On the session that I did on January 31st, you said under. And you said on chair. Nail, wood. That's also when you said feeling spiders and buried. And something about on stairs. And you talked about Paula and Maya. Choose. Choose what? Paralysis. Paralysis is a word I'm going to have to look up the definition to. Let, let's go look. Okay, this is not good. Paralysis. Okay, I was saying it correctly. The loss of the ability to move and sometimes to feel anything in part or most of the body, typically as a result of illness, poison, or injury. Oh, I don't like that at all. Okay, let's go back. Oh my, oh. So the boys lost all of their ability to physically move? Heart. You said heart last session, too. What about their heart? Be weary. I have chills right now. Be weary of what? Or of who?
And what about their heart? And paralysis. Tell me more about that. So are you saying that somebody caused their heart to not move anymore? That they stopped their heart? Were they poisoned? Like a physical fork that you eat with, or a fork, like fork in the road. figure out what those words mean. Patrick? Who's Patrick? I haven't heard of any Patrick associated with Orin and Orson either. Okay, so there was something with those three things together. Lamp, mistake, and burning. So did somebody accidentally knock a lamp over and it burned something? Okay, so we had four agree, limit, Patrick, lamp, mistake, and burning. Can you help me make sense of these words? Can you tell me if I'm correct? Did somebody knock a lamp over by mistake? Yes. Did it burn something or someone? No. Then what is burning? Were the boys burned? Pam wanted me to ask uh, that question. Were the boys burned in any way at any time? No? Yes? Yes, they were burned? Were their bodies cut? Yes. Oh no. Was there a dog involved with the boy's death? Hmm. 
No. What about a card? What kind of card? Okay, are the boys still near water? Grandma? You don't say. Chest. Tell me more about Grandma. Was Grandma involved in their death? Yes. With beeps, yes. Cockroaches. She? Does she have cockroaches? Did she call the boys cockroaches? Yes? Oh, no, 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 no. So, Grandma called Orin and Orson cockroaches. Oh my gosh. Answer me. Answer you what? In pain. Okay, tell me your name. Who? Tell me the name that is associated with the person that just said, answer me. Or is that something that Grandma would do when she called the boys cockroaches? Would she call them cockroaches when she would ask them a question and they wouldn't answer her? And then she would cause them pain? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Which which grandma are we talking about? Can you tell me grandma's name? What is grandma's name that called the boys cockroaches? I really need you to tell me her name. Or tell me more about her. Tell me something to verify which grandma it is. Because the boys have two grandmas. Is it Trizel's mom? That grandma? Yes. Arrested. We would like for the person to be arrested that's responsible for this. 
person or persons, but we need to know who it is and where what they did. Or are you telling me that they're going to be arrested? Okay, let's stick with Grandma here. I need you to help me figure out. I want to make sure which Grandma we're talking about. Are we talking about Wanda? Grandma Wanda. Allegedly. All of this is allegedly, remember. Are we allegedly talking about Wanda? Gate. Yes. Okay, that solidifies that we're talking about the boys because that's the story that Trizal told the law enforcement was that they went out the gate. Are you telling me that they went out of Wanda's gate? Or are you just confirming that that's the story that Trizel told the police that the boys went out of the gate on Aspen? Okay, I'm not. So there's more to the story than than those two scenarios. Okay, so we need to know more about going out of a gate. There was a cat that was seen on the 21st on the security footage from the neighbors. Is that the cat that you're talking about? Okay, does somebody have a cat that we need to talk to? They have a cat and they have a gate. Yes, okay. Who? Can you tell me who? Walter? Who is Walter? Has anybody come across any family members of Trizel or Jackie? That their name is Walter. If you have, please. I know that some people have dug into their families. The family tree. Is there anybody associated to Trizel or Jackie that has the name Walter? First, middle, or last name? Please tell me in the comments. Because I don't know if this is... I mean, that was pretty... They just answered me with Walter. So I don't think that that's a spirit that's coming to me named Walter. Yes, it is. 
I'm so confused right now. Okay, so Walter might be a spirit who's talking to me right now. Yes. Alright. Okay, so let's keep going. What else can you tell me about Orin and Orson West? Also known as Sincere and Classic. I have never seen it all red like that to the fullest. Jack. And my question was, what else can you tell me about this case? Death. Oh my gosh. So are you telling me that the boys are definitely deceased? gosh okay I'm sorry I just had to step away I had to go to the bathroom no way no way so we got different arrested again devil and playing oh my gosh I'm freaking out right now. I am freaking out. I thought I could step away for 30 seconds to go use the bathroom. And just in that short time, we get different, arrested, devil, and plan. Are you talking about the plan that Trezell and Jackie allegedly made? Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, this is, this, this shit's blowing my mind. 
and the spirits are on it today. I knew I had a strong feeling to do the spirit box session today. Oh my gosh. That's the second time that I've seen devil come across my spirit box now. The only other time was last session that I did for Suzanne Morphew. So what was their plan? Allegedly. And I feel like since we got the word arrested twice, that means that there will be two arrests. That the police will arrest two different people. Yes. That's what I thought. Okay, what else can you tell me? Tell me more. Tell me more about their plan. This just verifies, like, everything that I was thinking. Everything that all of my opinions, my theories. This is, like, verifying all of that. Yes. Exactly. Street. Okay, what street? Can you tell me the name of the street? Okay, we're going to wrap this up soon. I don't want to make this too long. I love these answers that I'm getting, though. Chloe. Is that a street name? Answer him. Saint. Saint who? Who is a saint? Who do I need to answer? Stop. Okay, I'm trying to process all of this. Answer him, Saint Stop. Can you tell me who, who you're referring to? Can you give me a name? Yes, okay, well tell me his name then, please. Tell me who I need to answer. Or are we going back to the same as answer her when we were talking about grandma? Yeah. Okay, so answer him. So, like, the boys weren't answering somebody. And saint and stop. I don't understand that. If you guys, if you guys that are watching, if you can help me with this, I'm not understanding this part. Answer him, Saint Stark. These words aren't making any sense to me. Okay, can you tell me more before we end this session? Is there anything else that you can tell me?
What else can you tell me? Okay, well, I'm going to end this session. It's almost an hour now that we've been talking, so I appreciate you giving me all of these answers, and I'm going to go do some research on everything that you told me today. Allegedly, is the adoptive family putting on an act? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Allegedly. They're not very good actors, though, are they? Since all of us can see through their act, and we can tell that they had a devilish plan, and that they caused death to helpless people. But hearing that there will be two arrested, that makes me very happy to hear that. Yes. Stuck. Who is stuck? They treated the boys as slaves. Yes. Honestly, that doesn't surprise me to hear. It hurts my heart to hear it. Oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. Dang. Oh, I don't like those words. Allegedly, of course. Lies. Okay, let's look up this word and see what it means, and then we're going to end the session. So, I thank you, Spirits, for talking to me today. Thank you for all the information that you gave us. It seems to be very informative. It definitely verified that I am speaking to Spirits that know about Orin and Orson, Orson Seer and Classic. 
So thank you so much for speaking to us today and giving us these words. Thank you, thank you. Yes. All right. We're going to go see what this word means. Okay. So, anema is a condition in which the number of red blood cells or the hemoglobin concentration within them is lower than normal. Okay. So, that's anemic. But it's not spelled the same way that I'm used to seeing with it having that A in there, A-N-A-E-M-I-A, -A, that's throwing me off because I've, I've always seen it spelled like this, A-N-E-M-I-A, -A, like that. But it means the same thing. It's just spelled a different way. Anemia. Anemia. Okay, this one here says anemia is a frequent result of overstrain, not to mention the constant colds and rheumatism due to overheated rooms. Okay, a deficiency in the number of red blood cells or their hemoglobin content resulting in pallor, shortness of breath, and lack of energy, lack of vitality or vigor, and pallid complexion. Okay, I don't like that that came up at all. That makes me think that something happened to the boy's before they passed, maybe that was the reason that they passed. Everything else that we've come across, though, has really led more to a violent incident. I wonder if, if being left in a hot vehicle with the windows rolled up on a hot day, I wonder if that would cause anemia. Or, you know, symptoms similar to it. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research now. You guys tell me what you think. After all the words that we've heard today, I'll run through them one more time. So we heard screeching, key, wire, can't remember, don't blink, Megan, chain, breath, under chair, choose, paralysis, Heart, be weary, fork, agree, limit, Patrick, and then lamp, mistake, burning, all popped up back to back, and then card, then grandma, then chest, almost immediately, and then cockroaches, and then she, and then answer me, in pain, arrested, Sorry. Um, then gate, out, cat, Walter. When I asked who was speaking to me, it said Walter. Kayla, crust, helpless, Jack, death. And then when I ran to the bathroom, we heard difference, arrested, devil, and plan all back to back. And then street, when I asked the name of the street, it said Chloe. Then answer him, Saint, stalk, back to back. Then act, stuck, slave. And then cold baby, out, bang, back to back. And then anemia, and rise. So what do you make of all of these words? What, what, what word jumps out at you the most or what section of words jump out you, to you the most? My mind is spinning right now. This is a lot to take in. So if you feel that you need to watch this video twice or certain parts of it 
you know, I understand because I'm going to watch this video back multiple times and see what I can come up with. I, I want to know what these words mean. And I want to know what the spirits were trying to tell us today. Hey, thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and ring my bell if you enjoy this type of content. Leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions that you have. I do read all comments. I need your help to fit the puzzle pieces together that we learned in this video. No bad vibes here, please. No drama. My channel is a safe place for all of you. Leave your thoughts about this puzzle below in the comments so that we can figure this out together. We discuss true crime and paranormal here. I'm bringing true crime stories and missing person cases to the spirits. I'm getting the spirits to help us find answers and hopefully solve questions we all have. So again, make sure that you're subscribed and ring my bell so that you don't miss my next video. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or the thumbs down if you didn't. Share this video out on all of your social media so that we can spread the word about this case. And don't forget to read the description box. There's a lot of great info, including the link to the Spirit Seeker Squad Facebook group and so much more. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.